Isolation of bacteria into pure culture has resulted in the identification and classification of different bacterial species. Since most of the microbiological studies require pure cultures, the culture media should be maintained in sterile conditions and free from contaminants prior to its use or during the transfer of a culture to another culture medium. A septic transfer technique is a common method in culturing and subculturing of bacterial cultures for microbiological analysis, transport, and storage. In this exercise, students will learn how to perform basic microbiological transfer techniques using agar's lens and broad tubes. The materials for this exercise include Bacterial cultures, Escherichia coli and Bacillus subtilis Nutrient agar's lens Nutrient broad tubes Inoculating loop Alcohol lamp Test tube rack and 70% ethanol. Perform the transfer of inoculum inside the laminar flow hood or biosafety cabinet. Disinfect the hood with 70% ethanol. Light an alcohol lamp and place the cultures, slants, and tubes near the alcohol lamp. Use a test tube rack and do not lay the tubes on the table. Do not open the air filter when performing the transfer of inoculum inside a laminar flow hood. This might expose the researcher from airborne contaminants from the culture. Flame sterilize the inoculating loop over the flame of an alcohol lamp. Wait for the loop and the entire length of the wire to turn glowing red. This will incinerate all contaminants present on the wire before its use for the transfer of pure bacterial culture. Allow the loop to cool. Do not let it come in contact with anything. Hold the fresh NA slant with the other hand. Remove the cotton plug using your pinky and ring finger. Never lay the cotton plug on the table. Always flame the mouth of the tube after unplugging and before plugging. Insert the sterilized inoculating loop to the bottom of the slant to cool the loop further. Return the cotton plug and place in the test tube rack. Get the tube with the inoculum. Remove the cotton plug using your pinky and ring finger. Insert the loop into the tube and touch the surface with the bacterial growth. Inoculate the culture into a fresh NA slant in a zigzag pattern. Flame sterilize the loop after use. Label the tubes properly. Indicate the date of inoculation, name of the organism, and name of the researcher. Incubate at 37 degrees Celsius for 24 to 48 hours. Perform the proper unplugging and plugging of the tube. Insert the sterilized loop into the agar slant and touch the loop on the surface where the bacteria are growing. Immediately insert the loop into the NB tube. Shake the loop gently to dislodge the bacteria and suspend them in the broth. Withdraw the loop from the broad tube and flame sterilize. Disinfect the laminar flow hood after use. 
These are the results showing the zigzag growth of E. coli and B. subtilis on NA slants. Zigzag pattern allows for abundant growth, ideal for subculturing. A straight pattern is ideal for maintaining stock culture. Bacterial growth can be visually observed by the turbidity or cloudiness in the broad medium. A control tube containing the broad medium can be used to compare bacterial growth visually or through turbidimetric method using a spectrophotometer. E. coli is a facultative anaerobe showing diffuse growth in the broad medium. Diffuse growth can also be an indication of bacterial motility. Some facultative anaerobe may also exhibit pellicle formation, a waxy membrane formed on the surface of the liquid medium. Pellicle formation can also be an indication of growth of non-motile bacterium.